The Yamaha CK88 does something special. It breathes life into your piano playing. If you're artistically inclined, you'll find that CK88's offerings encourage a fuller exploration of your musicality. Can we ask for your support by pressing the thumbs up icon below this video? It really helps an independent store like us get found online. Thank you. The Yamaha CK88 sparks creativity from within you by placing at your fingertips a rich palette of voices and then inviting you to craft your own signature sounds using its intuitive controls and deep selection of effects. Once you realize the breadth and depth of what the Yamaha CK88 offers, you'll feel like an artist standing before a blank canvas with an invitation to start noodling away. And from these noodles will come sketches. And from those sketches, you'll add color. Before you know it, you'll feel like you're creating your own masterpiece. Every time you power up, you'll be compelled to do this again and again. It's a veritable playground for the creative keyboardist and it's absolutely wonderful. Initially, the CK88 presents you with a fine selection of pianos and whatever your piano playing style, you'll undoubtedly find a voice to suit you. Um, however, it won't take you long to realize how dynamic even the most simple piano playing can become when you begin to explore the effects channels, uh, or as you might more meaningfully call them, the mood controls. I like to load up the S700. This is a bright sounding handcrafted piano by Yamaha. And then with a few twists of the uh, notched uh, hexagonal knobs controlling the reverbs, delays and filters, I'm already finding myself down a creative rabbit hole, changing the way I attack the notes, responding to new sounds produced with imagination and taking great pleasure in the process. These relatively basic steps are barely scratching the surface of what's possible, but are representative of how the CK88 engages your creativity. When building your own personal piano sound, very usefully there are independent controls for reverb and delay. So if you're like me and you love that classic 70s analog delay, like John Lennon's piano, um, then it's pretty easy to recreate that quite faithfully and uh, in this case, I'm using it as a building block towards my own signature piano voice. Uh, 
so far I'm only using a single voice of the three that are available to run simultaneously. All channels can run their own effects independently too, which opens up, uh, of course, further creative possibilities. A classic combination of voices is piano and synth pad. So that was my next move. On channel one, I retain my Lennon-esque piano and on channel two, I explore the pads in search of the perfect companion and settle for the cine pad, which is a simplistic monotone synth sound that will complement my piano quite well. Uh, activating and controlling the channels themselves is mercifully simple thanks to the color-coded array of buttons on the front panel. Channel A is yellow, channel B is blue, and channel C is green. Directly above them for ease of use are the channel volume mixers. There's always a new direction to take your sound on the Yamaha CK88. Even when you think you've settled on something, you'll find a new effect or voice combination that once again engages your creativity. If you're an artist, you'll understand the creative process by definition is never static. And unlike keyboards with more basic soundscape scan, the CK88 doesn't let the creative journey go stale and it offers you a new path to take all the time. During my playing session, I felt like the Yamaha CK88 was continuously presenting me at a fork in the road and saying, you decide which direction you want to go in. I absolutely love how this keyboard keeps inspiring me to explore, to keep playing and keep creating. And I've got to tell you that during the prep for this video, there were times where I could barely tear myself away from the keyboard to write anything down. I just couldn't help myself going down those creative rabbit holes. And a prime example of this is what happened to me when I added the third voice layer. Now, sometimes you luck out by finding the default third voice will enhance your overall sound quite nicely. But with a, such a deep selection of voices at your disposal, you'll quickly be spinning that mood control dial and getting inspired further. On occasion, however, happy accidents do happen. Uh, and that's all part of the fun on a keyboard like this. And that's exactly what happened to me. To my Lennon-esque piano and cine pad creation, I decided to add some orchestral strings, um, which sounds simple enough, right? But then while playing with the channel effects um, or mood controls, I ventured into a section called Others and stumbled upon the slicer effect. Uh, this immediately lit something inside me again by transforming the character of what I was playing and then taking it somewhere completely unanticipated. I was instantly bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. The slicer effect does what the name implies. It takes your selected voice and it slices it up as it's being played, giving it a sort of staggered, punchy delay. It was working brilliantly in my lineup of voices, so I quickly saved it into the keyboard's memory bank, um, of which there's plenty of room, by the way. <laughs> Onwards and onwards I went tweaking tones and experimenting with layers of voices as if they were flavors being mixed to create some sumptuous new recipe. As you may have seen in my previous videos, um, I often compare uh, music to painting, 
things like cooking because they share something important. Uh, they're all highly creative disciplines and we musicians, uh, much like uh, Jamie Oliver, Hugh Fernley Whittingstall, Keith Floyd, Monet Constable, David Hockney, in their fields of expertise, we're at our very best when that creative fire has been lit inside of us. Now, this is by no means a complete review of the Yamaha CK88. Uh, in a single video, it would be impossible to cover everything that the keyboard is capable of and recite all the stats and specifications. You'll find plenty of info like that online. But the thing I wanted to impress upon you most keenly is that unlike Yamaha's more basic keyboards, the P125, the P515, for example, the CK88 feels very aligned with my creative impulses. So perhaps that will better suit you as well. Metaphorically speaking, when I closed my eyes and let my mind drift, I feel the experience of playing the Yamaha CK88 is rather like pulling on bright multicolored gloves over my gray hands as I play my usual somewhat tired piano routines. The CK88 takes the well-grooved action of my fingers on the piano keys, which I often grow bored of admittedly, and injects life into them by letting me escape my regular, sometimes frustratingly stagnant piano playing repertoire and lighting up my creativity. For me, this might be the most profound achievement of the CK88. Now I have come to realize over time that I have a naturally introverted nature. My enjoyment of music is a highly personal thing and playing the piano, despite my job, is something I mostly prefer doing in private without anyone else listening to me. And I know that there are many other people out there uh, like me as well. We create music for ourselves and we don't always like performing for others. And of course there are uh, some people that are the complete opposite uh, and some are a blend of both but we are all individuals. I mention this because it speaks to an important point about the CK88. Your CK88 will be as unique as you are. With its rich palette of voices and effects and the tools that it gives you to craft with them, once you've started along the type of creative process that I've described in this video, the sound from your CK88 and whatever musical project you've deployed it into will develop just like you have its own personality and if I dare to be so profound will become a reflection of your soul. So when we step back to contemplate what it is to be an artist and how Yamaha's CK88 facilitates that, while it might not be the highest spec synthesizer or stage keyboard out there, what it does offer, and for the price that it offers it for, is quite an achievement by Yamaha and superb value for money. Make sure you check out the ePianos website for the latest deals and offers on digital pianos and keyboards and check out our huge selection of used instruments as well.